In this video, we're going to take a look at how to key switch the libraries that don't contain any articulations within the preset. So this is going to be your libraries such as originals, essay recording libraries, the artist range, and also labs. If you look in the preset dropdown menu, you can see that all the different articulations such as consorts, flotandos, the short pizzicatos, and consorts, they are all existing in their own patch, and there's no way to go between these within one particular plugin. So if we use, as in this case, a third party host, such as Vienna Ensemble Pro, we can actually use MIDI channel based switching methods to go between these different articulations. So for example, here in Vienna Ensemble Pro, I've got everything transmitting on MIDI port number one. And that's because in logic, there is only one track and it needs to transmit on the same port. However, each individual plugin, as we can see here, plugin number three is a floor tando, we need to increment the MIDI channel. So this would be number three. The second plugin, which as we can see is a long consort, would be MIDI channel number two. And the very first plugin, which is the longs, would be MIDI channel number one. To flick over to Logic, where we can see there is an instrument track, we are transmitting on every single MIDI output over here on the left-hand side in the inspector. Every single note that is within this MIDI clip, if you want to change the articulation, it has to be transmitting on a different MIDI input to Vienna Ensemble Pro. So how do we go about doing this? So if we create a Vienna Ensemble Pro plugin on this track, and connect that through to the instance, we can then create an articulation set specifically for key switching via MIDI channel. So to create the articulation set in the inspector, we go to the articulation set option, click new and add in three articulations because I've got three articulations in Vienna Ensemble Pro at this time. Give them their unique names. Then on the channel, we increment to reflect Vienna Ensemble Pro. And also we need to make the type of message a note on message. So now when we close the articulation set down and we go to the instrument track itself, we can then go about changing the different articulations. So for example, here we can see in this articulation list on the left, the note in bar one is longs, the note in bar two is longs, and the note in bar three is also longs. So if we were to highlight the note, and change the articulation in the left hand side here to long float and the center one to long CS. Now when I hit play and we go back to Vienna Ensemble Pro, we can see that the different notes are triggering the different plugins. So as you can see there, we're key switching the different originals libraries based on the MIDI channel. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.